Hey guys, we're going to try back here today. We're going to be playing some more Farming Simulator 2017. And we got all the flatbeds here. We got all the pickups. We got the Dodge, the Ford, the Chevy. We don't have the Toyota yet. Still working on getting that. I haven't, I've been recording them back to back to kind of catch up on some of them. But yeah, if you want to see 19 content, um, some of my 19 content, go over to my channel. Link's in the description. Or the card just popped up, up in the top corner. And we gotta buy some implements today. Now the first thing we're gonna start with is plows. We're gonna get the 1600 plow. And this is the one I should have converted to 19. I didn't realize that this one was a little wider, a little bigger. And we might as well use one of these, throw one of them in there, and throw one of these. So all the plows are gonna go on one trailer to one farm. And then the cultivators are gonna go all to separate farms because I have a case, a Alice one the case a case and Alice and a John Deere one for the disc and actually two of these John Deere's are going to it we're gonna get this one and yeah so that's all the cultivators and then we got the sewing machines to buy too we got this one to go to the case farm for a drill this one to go to the planter on the case side we got this drill to go to the one side, the John Deere side, the eight row to go to the other side. So we got all this equipment here. We're gonna go ahead and get some of it loaded up on some trailers. So we're actually gonna buy something to load them with. So we're gonna get this, we're gonna buy a loader. Oh yeah, we can't because we have to move something. Alright, we'll hook them on to the D two fifty, Dodge two fifty, twenty five hundred in Chevy terms, I believe. Going back up, and we'll get some of this backed on, loaded up, all that. Or we might just pull it there, like something that's super wide, like this drill. Probably end up pulling it there, just because load lock probably won't work too good. Or we might just have to wait till we get a semi. I think we're gonna pull this out of the way. And of course, we need that hook onto it. So yeah, I think we'll mainly just pull most of it home with the pickups. And we'll buy that wheel loader so we can load these three-point attachers. Because this has two of them on it. Front and back. With a loader. So that's this little thing here. Now this is a... Um, I can't remember the name. This is the one I wanted to convert to 19. Can we attach? Nope we're not going to attach yet. This is the one I was going to convert to FS19. It's a bi-directional. Something like that. We're going to pick that up. We're going to hook it onto the front. And we'll get these two loaded up on one of the trailers. Probably the smaller trailer. Or might actually load it on the back of the flatbed. We'll see. Alright, so we got the plows loaded. Now it's time to... I think we'll take the cultivators home a little later. Um, we're going to load this disc up though. We're going to get it loaded. We have some pallet forks here. I wish I had longer ones. Like an actual loader forks. Like bigger loader forks. Something a little bigger. That way I can get under most of these things. Instead of partially. We're actually going to try and push this to the gate, to the fence, so we can get under it. There we go. And we should be able to load it on. Some of this stuff doesn't load as good as it does in 19. Just because it's harder to pick it up and stuff. But I think we'll put this on the flatbed that's going with the deer. Because we'll match, we'll match colors. That's what we'll do. So that's going to go to the red farm. Okay, this is all messed up. Anyway, we're going to get most of the stuff loaded. Probably hauled out of here. We might actually buy a semi to haul it. Actually, that's what we might do. Might put it all on a semi-trailer. We'll see. We're going to get it all loaded up, get it all home, and put away. And we still have to buy a little more, actually. So we stopped at what? Planters? Sewing machines? Um, we got the John Deere's bot. We're going to buy a 6-row and an 8-row. One of them. And we'll get those home. And then I might buy one of these. This one actually doesn't work. But it's actually, I'll buy it for you guys, just just so you guys can see it. 
This is the one I was going to convert. It actually works decent. It looks good, and but it doesn't work good. I have to do some edits to it. I'm actually probably going to convert this to 19 so that you guys can have a three-point stack fold planner. Other than the one that's already now. Already out. Or not out, but already there. It has cylinders. It's a little better detailed. It's got air on it. Stuff like that. Oh, I might try and work on it. We'll see how energetic I am. Since I already have one, a three-point planner, I probably won't. But we'll see. So we're going to get most of this stuff home. We're going to go ahead and pull it all home. And we'll get it all put away. Or we'll load it up and haul it home. Okay, so we're going to go ahead and buy a semi, actually, to haul this. We're going to get the 389. Straight stacks are curved. Straight, big truck. Um, this is going to be like a custom truck, so we'll go black. Bumper, bull bar, big visor. Go and buy that and have to probably have to move it out of the way. There we go. Big old bull bar on the front. Semi in the back. We'll probably end up keeping this for a certain for some trailer. I don't know what. Probably cattle pot. And then we're gonna buy the I don't know which one to buy. Okay, so we're gonna buy that eventually, but heavy haul pacer. What's the difference between these? I might just buy these. This one. I think this one's got a long tongue on it, if I remember right. It's like a long hitch. Yeah, it's like a really long hitch. We'll back up. Hug on to it. It's a super long hitch. Wow. And I think we're going to get this one. And along with a long trailer. Actually, we'll actually load them up. We'll actually get it loaded up. We're going to buy a mini tractor. Probably going to be a case or this tractor. I don't know. We'll use this one. Design with some, without. There. I'm going to get that bought. There we go. We'll get some of this stuff loaded up on it. Probably the planners. We'll try and group them up smaller stuff first and then we'll put all the big stuff on okay so we're rolling in here we're gonna go ahead and get this these plows unloaded with the tractors probably a smaller one I we can get it back down there probably the let's see we got Alice Alice is here um probably could unlock it too there we go and yeah we've been having trouble with loading other implements they don't want to stay on very well so we're just gonna kind of haul like a few at a time or take the pickup and drive them up with the pickup it's harder with the faster pickups because it does push them around a lot we're gonna get these unloaded and we do have some more implements to unload I did buy a semi I was going to put it all on the semi and haul it but that failed pretty quickly because when I got it all on locked the load took off made it across the road tracks and it all fell off so that's kind of a bummer, but we're going to try and get this some of this equipment put away. So now I'll go ahead and hook on to the other one. I wish we had like a loader with a three-point attacher to it, or like a chain kind of thing. I'll lift this up before we start ripping our... Actually, I wonder. I don't think that's going to work too good. Oh, the linkages like click out. Weird. Do this. I don't own the land. Oh yeah, I haven't haven't bought the farm yet. So that's why I can't. We'll back this in there, then we'll put the tractor away. The plow's kind of all crooked. That one is. There we go. Put this away. We'll put the pickup in here too. Make it all so it's nice in the way. I think this is the only thing we're taking up here. Actually, no, the field conditioner and the two white planters are coming up here with this. So, we'll go ahead and shut that off. We'll get in the, as you can see, I got this semi. Loaded the planter and the disc and the cultivator and that planter. All fell off. So, we should not have too much left, really. We just got this pile of stuff. I think I'm going to pile it on and get it up there. But, we're going to finish taking this up to the farm. So yeah, I did have a John Deere 
disc on here and it fell off the drills about to fall off too but the the 980 cultivator it's staying on it actually uses load lock and stays on so we'll see how long the drill can ride okay so we're rolling in here with the thing I did get the drill to lock I had it locked on just a second ago but anyway hope you guys did enjoy the video if you did hit that like button and we'll see you all next time